Are you looking for a travel trailer with a fireplace? Or maybe two fireplaces? Stick around folks, we found some awesome travel trailers with two fireplaces. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. And we also invite you to check out our website at rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing there as well. But today we're going to be taking a look at travel trailers with two fireplaces so you can enjoy the ambiance you can keep your camper nice and warm on a chilly day without any further ado though let's get started on our review of travel trailers with two fireplaces this travel trailer is the dutchman kodiak model number 3371 flsl it has an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,564 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 2,116 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 9,680 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,109 pounds. It measures in at 37 feet 3 inches and it can sleep 4 to 6 people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, on the left-hand side is where the owner's bedroom is located. Straight ahead is where the bathroom is located, and as you wrap on around, you enter into the kitchen and the living room area. So when I first walk into this camper, I am really impressed with the color scheme that's in here. I love the countertops. I like the color of the cabinets and the floor. It just has a really nice, luxurious feel to it, and other little touches like the light fixtures and the sink faucet you know really make it feel nice and luxurious in here and i feel like i could live in here all year round to be honest and, and since this is a four season trailer i could do that if i wanted to now the first thing you'll notice in the kitchen area is of course the island and anytime you get an island in a travel trailer it just really makes it stand out because it kind of feels like you're living in a fifth wheel when you get an island in a travel trailer so that combined with the opposing slides back here where the whole kitchen area pops out and also the dinette and sofa area also slide out really makes it nice and big and roomy in here and that's what allows for the island to fit in this space now the island here is a very good size it's got a beautiful solid surface countertop with a nice big single bowl farmhouse style sink it's also got a beautiful faucet and this is also a sprayer when it releases from its catch. Now on this side of the island, there is a cabinet down below the sink that gives you plenty of storage space. There's also a cutting board down there that you could use. And then over here, of course, you have a bank of four drawers for all of your kitchen utensils. I also want to point out that there are receptacles on each side of the island. So if you've got a blender or I don't know, an air fryer or anything like that you want to set here, plug in, you can easily do that. Now behind me here is where the main part of the kitchen is. And if we start over here, we've got our microwave oven, which is a decent size for a travel trailer. And then of course, as we head on down below that, we have lots of countertop space here. We have a tower of power in the corner over here, a couple receptacles and USBs, a nice size drawer and then more cabinet space down below that with lots of space underneath. And just next to that, we've got more storage up top. Then we have our fan uh, and light hood, and then a three burner propane stove. And then this even comes with a real oven in here. So if you'd like to do any baking while you're out camping, you can certainly do that. And then below that, a nice big drawer, nice and deep for pots and pan storage. Now, just past the cooktop and oven is where the refrigerator and freezer is located. It's a decent size in here. It's got a nice separate full-size freezer as well as refrigerator. This is a 12-volt style refrigerator, which is pretty much all we're seeing these days in the new campers that are coming out. They're all seeming to be getting away from the old styles of refrigerators that ran on propane and were the absorption style refrigerators and they're converting over to the 12 volt fridges which means they run on battery 
or they run on shore power but not on propane and that's a good thing right you can keep these running while you're driving down the road where if you have a propane fridge you might want to turn that off while you're driving down the road so uh, this is a great setup for you know modern day camping the other advantage is the refrigerator and freezer space space is much larger in a 12 volt refrigerator because you don't have those silver fins that are blocking up some of the space to create the coldness inside the fridge. So all in all, it's a great deal and I'm sure happy to see these being installed in today's campers all the time. Now, so far in this kitchen, we really haven't seen much storage space. There's a little bit under the kitchen sink. You've a little bit under the counter over here and a couple of drawers that you have. So this part of the kitchen, which is kind of like a nice built-in hutch area, has a lot of storage space. Up top here, you'll notice a super large wide open cabinet and then an awesome sized countertop here and then below that even more storage space so there's a ton of storage space in the kitchen but a lot of it is over in this area now the countertop here i really like because this is a perfect place to set up your toaster oven your coffee maker uh, maybe your air fryer whatever you have on board and you've got a lot of countertop space for that and then of course You've got a tower of power over here in the corner, which includes two receptacles and two USB ports as well. So here we are at the din dinette area. And you know, the dinettes that come with the four individual seats, I think just look a little nicer. They certainly look more residential, make you feel like you're more at home. Uh, I love the light feet, uh, fixture over top. It's a very nice modern design. And then of course you have really large windows over top of the dinette and also in the side of the slide out as well. So you have plenty of ventilation and light coming into your kitchen area. Now we don't have that here because we're at an RV show and this is actually parked next to a giant cement wall. So we have a beautiful view of concrete out there. Now, just past the dinette area is where we enter into kind of the living room of this trailer. I'm sitting in movie theater style seating, which has a manual recline that you can pull and you can sit here and relax and chill out, watch TV, enjoy your fireplace and just take it easy in the evening. This would be my favorite spot, as I'm sure Susan would tell you. Now, there's also a couple of cup holders built in here and this little guy flips up and that way you can keep your remotes in there so you don't lose them. So here I am at the second couch in the living room. Well, I guess the first was theater seating. Now I'm sitting on the couch. Now this couch is also a trifold bed which will fold out into the living room. Two people could sleep on this bed, but I think it would be kind of tight. You know, it seems to me that these end tables are awfully big and maybe they could have put a little wider couch in here, but there's probably something under the end tables that's preventing that from happening, I would imagine. But nonetheless, this will turn into a bed and you can sleep a couple of people here very, very easily. Maybe the kids could sleep out here and they would be pretty comfortable and they'd have the TV and all that to watch. So that would work out really well. Look, end tables are huge. So I don't know, you could put a lamp here. You could keep your computer here. Uh, certainly relax and enjoy things. You've got uh, receptacles down below on both sides. And on the one side, you also have USB ports so you can charge up your phone, your Kindle, your tablet, whatever you might have. Also above me, you'll notice there are also more cabinets for storage. And then finally, we have the entertainment center, which includes an area for a really good sized TV in here. Then you have a little bit of open storage below that with a removable speaker that you can take outside with you and enjoy music. And then of course, you've got a nice little fireplace down below. And uh, we make use of our fireplace and our RV all the time. And we're seeing more and more campers with fireplaces in them. And for good reason, they, they're very nice to enjoy. They can either heat or not heat up your camper, however you wanna use them. So you can enjoy the ambiance or you can use them for the heat as well. Now, this particular setup has some kind of cool hidden storage back here. And this whole thing kind of opens right up and then you have a few more shelves for storage here. So here we are in the very back of this trailer and we are in the owner's bedroom. And I really like the owner's bedroom set up here. Number one, it's got windows on a few different walls, right? We've got one behind me here, we've got one there, a couple on each side of the bed here. So I love fresh air, especially in the spring and the fall. So you can open up your windows in here, get a nice cross breeze, which is super nice. Now this bed in here looks 
to be pretty big. I mean, this thing is 80 inches long and it's also 70 inches wide. So you have a king size bed in here and it's a residential size king bed. So that's fantastic. Now you'll also notice on each side of the bed, you do have a little bit of a shelf here. So you could put your phone there. That's probably about it. I don't see any receptacles in here that you'd be able to charge your phone. So that's a little bit of a downfall here, but at least you have a little place for a drink of water and your cell phone. Over top, you'll notice that you've got these three other cabinets for some additional storage overhead. And these lights all turn on and off individually. So if you're reading at night, you can turn them on or off as needed. And then finally, underneath of this bed, if we lift up the mattress, you can see there's a ton of storage underneath. So another great feature in this bedroom is that it comes with a fireplace. And I just think if you're gonna be out camping and vacationing, hey man, why not live it up and have a fireplace in your bedroom too? I love this feature. I just think it would be so nice and cozy to lay in bed, maybe watch TV as you fall asleep, have your fireplace on. And if it's a chilly morning, you can turn on the fireplace and enjoy the heat that comes out also. So very nice feature here on each side of the fireplace. There's a drawer that pulls out. There's also cabinet space below the drawer. And then it's got this nice big countertop here. And on each side, there are receptacles. And on this side, there's also USB ports. Now, all of your TV hookups are located over here. And I'm not really sure if that means like this is where you would mount your TV. I'm not positive about that. I would figure out a way to put a TV here and then maybe stow it away while I'm traveling because it, it just makes a lot more sense to have a big TV here. Now, just to my right is where a big wardrobe closet is located. There's a bar up top so you can hang things in here and then there's additional storage down below that. There's also open storage below the fireplace so you can kick your shoes off and store them under there. And last but not least, we have this cabinet, which is also a wardrobe cabinet. So you could hang things in here, you could store things in here. But what I love most about it is that it comes with the washer and dryer prep. So you could put a combo unit in here and have a washer and dryer on board your RV. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this shooting, you could live in here year round, especially if you have a washer and dryer. Now, just below this cabinet, there's just one more drawer down here and you can have even more storage there. So here we are in the bathroom. And of course I'm standing in the shower as usual. Now you guys all know I'm 5'11". And if we measure the ceiling height inside the skylight, we've got six feet, six inches in here. So, you know, that'll work for most people. The regular ceiling height throughout the entire RV comes in at about six feet, eight inches. So a good amount of ceiling height throughout the RV, I think, for taller folks, this may be a good RV for you, especially since it's got the king size bed as well. Now the shower doors in here are very nice. It's sort of a triple glass door that just slides across. And then you have a nice shower handle and uh, shower sprayer and handles. So pretty nice shower setup. Plenty of room inside of here as well. Just outside the shower, we have our medicine cabinet here and it's backlit on the sides and it has a light over top. I think this would be pretty good for ladies that want to put on their makeup. What do you think, hon? Uh, okay. Pretty good? Yeah. Just okay? <laughs> All right. Should get back to me on that. And then, of course, in the medicine cabinet, you've got a few shelves in here that are built in, but there's plenty of space in there. Now, your countertop area is a decent size you know you can put things all around you've got a good little sink here there is a receptacle right next to the countertop so you can plug in a hair dryer or what have you and then of course a uh, little bit of storage underneath and around the sink pipes and then finally here i am on the commode and i'm not going to quite pass the elbow test but the bathroom's large enough that you're not going to feel cramped when you're in here at all now, for those of you that prefer to cook outside or relax outside and watch TV and, you know, sit outside while you're doing it, this has an outdoor kitchen set up that includes a TV. So that's really a nice little feature here. And then, of course, you've got a little, a little mini fridge in here that does have a spot for ice cubes. So that's always a plus. And then there's some additional storage out here as well. And then just off to the side is where you'll find a griddle that connects onto your RV. This travel trailer is the Venture Sport Trek model number STT343VIK. 
It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 8,970 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,815 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 10,785 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,150 pounds, the length is 37 feet 5 inches, and it can sleep up to 4 people. When you first walk into this RV on the right hand side, you've got the owner's bedroom behind the door and the bathroom is also in the middle of this trailer. Then we wrap around into the kitchen and dinette area and all the way in the back is where the living room is located. My first impression when I walk into this travel trailer is that it sort of feels like a fifth wheel, but it also feels very residential in here. I love the way that they use the two-tone cabinetry in the kitchen area, we have white cabinets on the walls, and then for the island, they use a darker wood. And then they also use the darker trim all around. And in the living area, we have a darker cabinet style there too. So it just really feels luxurious, very roomy, and very residential as well. Now the kitchen area itself features an island in the middle of the kitchen. And a lot of folks really love to have an island. You get all this extra countertop space. You've got a very large sink right in the middle of the island with a very pretty faucet. It actually doubles as a sprayer as well. So it's easy to wash your dishes and everything. And then on this side of the island, there are three cabinet doors with plenty of storage underneath. And there's also a bank of four drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils. Now also on the back side of this island, you'll notice there are a couple of electrical receptacles here, which is great if you wanna put anything on your counter, like a blender, cause you're making a bunch of margaritas, you got a place to plug right into on your island, which is fantastic. Now on this side of the kitchen, this is really all about storage. It's kind of a hutch type feel in here. Up top, we have these really nice looking glass inlay doors. And then you'll notice that there is just plenty of storage up here for all of your storage needs. Down below that, we've got a couple of receptacles on top of this really nice countertop. So you could also put coffee makers, toasters, toaster ovens, whatever you wanna put here, and you can plug them right in. And then of course, there's plenty of storage space down below. So as we wrap on around through the kitchen, you'll notice that you've got a nice microwave oven up top here. It's a regular microwave, not a convection, but you'll see in a second, you don't need it to be. And then you've got a three burner propane range here. And then below that, you've got a real oven, which allows you to cook a pizza if you like, or anything that you wanna bake away. And then finally below that, there's a drawer down here for even more storage. So here we are just past the range, and this is where the refrigerator is located. Now this fridge has built-in cabinet panels right on the front of it, which is another reason that it gives you such a nice luxurious or residential feel in here. Now the refrigerator itself is very large. It's got a nice deep freezer, very large fridge. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it runs on battery or shore power. And it also has a compressor style motor in it, which helps it to get cold much, much faster. And then right next to the refrigerator, we have this very large pantry cabinet. And this is really cool. I mean, it's got adjustable shelving all the way through pretty much from top to bottom. So here I am at the dinette table. And as you can see, it's got four chairs here and four people could very easily and comfortably sit at this table and enjoy a meal. There's also a really nice big window here and also on that side. And this whole side also slides on out. So you get a lot of roominess in this camper. You'll also notice it's got a really nice fixture above. And then over my shoulder right here is another receptacle. It's kind of in a weird spot. Like if I was gonna work here, um, I guess I'd have to sit in the next chair over and maybe the power cord would come over to my computer or something along those lines. It's certainly nicer than having it like down below your seating area, which is where we find the receptacle in most dinette areas. Now, just past the dinette area is where the entertainment center is located. First and foremost, you'll notice this really large TV that's built in. And then just below that, we have a fireplace down below. So you get a real nice feel in here as well. And all the edges of the countertops also have this natural edging on here that just gives you a, a little nicer feeling of everything being natural and upgraded as well. Now, up top and around the sides, you'll notice that the cabinet doors have this black glass inlaid and so it just looks beautiful and look how big and deep this cabinet is above the tv i mean my arm 
I mean, I really have to reach to hit the back wall. So this is over two feet deep and it offers a ton of storage. And then you'll also notice on each side, you've got a couple of doors here that aren't as deep. Uh, and we'll show you why a little bit later in the video, but there's plenty of storage on each side of your TV as well. So here I am in the living room, sitting on the couch. Now this is a really nice, comfortable couch, I gotta say. On each side of the couch, there is an end table, and above the end table, there is an electrical receptacle. There's also open storage underneath of each of the end tables. Now over my head, you'll notice, there's a bunch of cabinet doors up there with tons of storage and they have the black glass inlay in the cabinet doors up there as well. And then this sofa is actually a sofa bed. So you can pull it on out and two people can comfortably sleep right here. As we continue to wrap around through the living room area, you have what I feel like is supposed to be kind of movie theater style seating. These seats are extremely comfortable as well. They even have a little button that you can hit that turns on a little massager and these are heated chairs as well. So you can be toasty warm, get a little massage while you're sitting here. And they also have a USB port on each end that you can plug right into. So if you're you know, working on your tablet or you need to charge your phone, it's very, very easy to do so. Now these chairs also recline so you can sit back and relax while you're watching TV or enjoying the fireplace. And then finally in the middle here, this section just folds right on down. There's a couple of very convenient cup holders here. And then there's also a receptacle and two more USB ports. And lastly, in this area, we have even more cabinetry up above for additional storage. Now, here we are in the very front of this trailer. This is where the owner's bedroom is located, and it's a pretty nice bedroom suite. I mean, first of all, you'll notice we have this very nice cabinetry up above with some black glass inlaid cabinet doors, very big storage cabinets there. And then there's a little bit of open storage space here, which also has a receptacle and that little blue lit up area there is for USB ports. Down below that, we have a window at the head of the bed. And I'm not sure what size bed this is, but it's a pretty good size. Let me get a measurement on it. All right, it's 80 inches long and Ooh, 68 inches wide. So this is a king size bed. It would be considered a residential king size bed, by the way. So very good size bed in here for all you taller folks. And then finally under the bed, you can just lift it right on up. And there is tons of storage under there too. So at the very front of the trailer, they have this nice built in day bed area. Now, it's not really big enough for an, an adult to sleep here, but we have like a three-year-old granddaughter. This will be a perfect place for her to be able to sleep at night and stay with us so we can keep an eye on her. There's also a receptacle and a USB port here so she could play on her little tablet or do whatever. Or, you know, for an adult, if you'd like to have a little reading nook or a day bed or something like that, you could also plug in your Kindle here and sit here and read and relax. Now, what I'm surrounded by is all this nice cabinetry. And so there is additional storage with these wardrobe cabinets on each side that have a bar up top so you can hang your garments. And then, of course, more storage overhead. Now, my favorite part of the owner's bedroom, I think, is the fireplace that's in here. And it's built right into this nice looking dresser. I think it's really cool to have a fireplace at the foot of your bed. It just seems really, really nice when you're out vacationing in this luxurious trailer. You might as well have a fireplace in or your bedroom. Or if you're full-time RV living. Or if you're full-timing and it's nice to have a fireplace too. And on those chilly mornings, you can turn it on and it'll warm up your bedroom for you. We love our fireplace and our RV. We use it all the time. Uh, you can turn on the heat function or you can just have the fireplace on without any heat too. So either way, we get to use it and enjoy it. Now the top of this actually flips on up. It's a little hideaway storage area. So you could store plenty of things in here, maybe some more valuable items that you want to hide away. And then on each side of the of the fireplace, you've got additional storage behind these doors. And then you have a little bank of drawers down below for even more storage. Then finally, on the other side of the bed, you've got this really big storage closet here. Now this can be used as a wardrobe closet because there is a bar up top so you can hang garments there, store things down below, or it's also got the washer and dryer prep. So you could put a washer and dryer in your travel trailer. 
So here I am in the bathroom, standing in the shower like I usually am. Now the bathroom in this particular trailer is situated between the kitchen area and the bedroom area. So it's in the hallway that sort of connects the two. The bathroom shower is a very good size. Comes with a retractable shower door, which is a really terrific feature. I'm 5'11", as you know, but there also is plenty of plenty of room in here because you've got 82 inches of height in here, which is quite a bit. Also, the width of this shower is very impressive. It's wider than most showers that we see. So I think you'd be very, very comfortable in here when taking a shower. Just outside the shower, we have this really oversized medicine cabinet up top. Just below that, we have a very good vanity sink and vanity top. There's also a receptacle here, so you can plug in your hair dryer, shaver, or whatever, and then there's a little bit of space down below the sink for storage. So also right next to the shower, you'll notice you've got this nice cabinet, which is above the commode, so you can store extra toilet paper, toilet chemicals, whatever you need to keep up there. And then finally, your commode ah, sits right here in the corner. Even with the door shut, I would pass the elbow test with flying colors. So here we are just outside the RV, and this is the slide out that is in the living room area. And just behind here is where the fireplace and the TV are located. But in this, in this outdoor kitchen, this is a really great setup. First of all, it's got a roof that's big enough or a door that's big enough to create a large roof over your head. So if it's a little rainy outside, you're out of the rain. Then it's got this nice grill top that slides in and out. Also, it's got a ton of countertop space. It also has a receptacle and cable TV out here. So if you wanted to put a TV out here, you certainly could. And then it's got a little sink built in. We don't always see a sink in an outdoor kitchen on an RV. So this is a nice feature to have. You can wash off your utensils and things like that while you're outside without having to take everything inside. There's a little drawer under here for your sponges and things like that. There's a full extension drawer here for all of your kitchen utensils. And then finally, we have a refrigerator here outside so you can stock up on beer and sodas. One last feature in this kitchen is it's got ample storage space because of this gigantic cabinet up above. Hey guys, let us know in the comments down below how much you like these travel trailers with two fireplaces in them. Now there's a huge debate about travel trailers and fireplaces. Some folks are purists. They say, no, you should not have a fireplace. You should be outside enjoying your campfire there. And other folks say, hey man, I'm on vacation. I want to live the life of luxury. I want to have fireplaces, not only one, but two in my trailer. Well, let us know in the comments down below which one of these trailers you like the most and why and how you feel about fireplaces as well. And if you'd like to check out some travel trailers with really, really cool floor plans, just click the box down below. And Susan and I will see you in the next video.